Bobby Joe Long. After spending 33 years on death row, the man who terrorized the city of Tampa in 1984, killing at least eight women and raping countless others, was finally executed. 65-year-old Bobby Joe Long died by lethal injection at Florida State Prison in Rayford on May 23, 2019. Between May and November of 1984, eight women were killed and their bodies dumped in provocative positions in the Tampa Bay area of Florida. The victims were all sexually assaulted and all had similar marks of binding. The serial killer was caught on November 16, 1984, after releasing his last victim. Lisa McVeigh managed to befriend Long in order to survive. After being sexually assaulted for 26 hours, she was let go. She gave information to the police that enabled them to arrest Long and charged him with the sexual assault and kidnapping of McVeigh. During his interrogation about the McVeigh case, police confronted Bobby Joe Long with photographs of several murder victims. The FBI also provided fiber evidence that linked Long's vehicle to most of his victims. At the end of the day, he confessed killing nine women. Long reached a plea bargain for eight of the homicides and the abduction and rape of Lisa McVeigh. He pleaded guilty to all of these crimes and received 26 life sentences without the possibility of parole. Having retained the option to seek the death penalty for the murder of Michelle Sim, the state of Florida put Long on trial the next year. On July 25, 1986, he was found guilty and sentenced to die in the electric chair. Before the Tampa Bay Area murders, starting in 1981, Long had committed at least 50 rapes in Fort Lauderdale. He became known as the classified ad rapist. Answering classified ads for small implements, he would rape whoever woman he found home alone. He was caught, tried and convicted. Astonishing, Long requested a new trial and the charges were later dropped. Unbelievable. He then moved to Tampa in 1983, and a year later began to kill women, entering the infamous list of most evil serial killers in history. I already talked about Long in another video, there's a link in the description if you want to take a look at it. Bobby Joe Long was the first inmate executed by the state of Florida this year and the 8th nationally. Not important but still a fact, is that he requested roast beef, bacon, french fries and soda as his last meal. And when asked if he had any last words he just replied, no. He was pronounced dead at 6.55 p.m. on May 23, 2019. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of new uploads. See you next video.